Okay, love bugs. So last week we were in the middle of a record breaking weather with Hurricane Hillary. This week we are in probably record breaking heat. It is so hot outside. I don't even know what to do with myself. Even right now it's 930. My window is open and I am hot. Typically if your window open and you're cold, I don't know what is going on, but I am super excited for this look. I feel like this hair, like the big hair, don't care vibe definitely to me goes with heat i know some people like like thin bobs or they're like i don't like a lot of hair on my on myself when it's hot outside but i love a good beach moment a good pool moment even just hanging out with the family and having like, a naked little tank top and some shorts or like tank top and cut off shorts or like your maxi dresses or just your simple basic outfits with like big hair and big sunglasses i went ahead and set it off with some super dramatic baby hair which of course is a preference look how beautiful the hairline is it's super melted and i did all of this with you guys from start to finish this one here does come courtesy of Gita hair and i sent this beauty over in a curly look i gave her a little bit of cut at the ends i diffused her super big because i really wanted the big ba ba boom messy but you'll also see in the video how beautiful she looks when she's a little bit more tamed so if you're interested in seeing how we got this flawless hairline how we executed the baby hair and how we diffused this one to perfection you can definitely keep on watching okay babies you seen how i was looking like a snack let me show you how i got the look this is the wig straight out of the box this is actually a curly wig and it comes with the baby hair already ready to go she's 24 inches in length and she's a 13 by 4 hd lace wig in the density 250 percent this is what this bad boy looks like on and as you already can see it's going to be super and simple and easy to slay this is what she looks like set as a center part and this is what she is going to look like set as a side part especially if you curve it the curve finesses and gives you a little bit more like parting space or the illusion that you have more parting space if that makes any sense here i am just pulling the hair back and just trimming off any excess lace around the ears you want that custom fit you don't want your wig to be bulky or to go over um your ears now i'm taking an eyebrow razor and we're going to just cut off that excess lace I like to go in and kind of make it a little bit jagged. This is going to give you the perfect look. Of course, we got a Vev and we got that San Pellegrino. I love the blood orange. That is my all-time favorite flavor. And it's also my favorite drink just period on the planet. Now we're going to bond her down. I'm using an extra hold hairspray as my adhesive. This is going to make it glueless because this is not a glue at all. And it will be able to come off at night just like anything else. Give me beso. Sando. Now I'm going to go in and do the opposite side and we are blow drying on a cool setting until it completely dries. From here it does look a little bit crusty. Don't worry that's just a product mixed with heat because I did blow dry on a high heat setting. And once we go ahead and like add all the product and everything it's just literally going to disappear. So when you said a little bit of crusty don't be alarmed. It is just part of the process. Here I am just pulling out the baby hair. Because I'm going curly and it's the end of the summer, I wanted to go out with a bang. So I'm doing extra dramatic like Instagram baby hair today. If that's not your jam, it's okay. You can skip the step or you can just go in and do the same thing but, but thinner. Or you can switch it up to what you like. I did go ahead and tweeze it out. So even though it's full baby hair, it's going to be like full pre-plucked good baby hair just not thick for no reason now i'm going in with the wax stick paired with the electric hot comb you guys know over here we call that the dynamic duo because this duo is literally key it is the best duo if you have two things about bonding your wig down or styling your wig it's going to be that wax and that electric hot comb that's going to really give you a flawless look now I'm taking a pencil flat iron, which is a really tiny flat iron, and I'm just going in and making a little bump in it. I like to do this while the hair is still long because I tend to burn myself very easily. So when I go in and like trim the hair first, I tend to be more likely to burn myself. Don't know why, but it just is, the, is what it is. So I did go ahead and curl first and then trim second. Now I'm putting a little edge control at the base of each of those little baby hair little brackets or humps. And then I'm going to take the edge brush and I take the comb side first and just really kind of like form the baby hair. But I want it to form straight. You don't want the baby hair to be like overlapped um, or lumped up. You want the hairs themselves to be straight and to like be a perfect curve or a perfect smooth curve. I don't know if that makes any sense, but 
just bear with me when you go ahead and you comb those baby hairs make sure that they are laid down and they are smooth and they are straight and they are not stacked on top of each other and make sure that that bend is like a smooth perfect gradient bend you don't want it to be like lopsided and that is what is going to make baby hair look really really instagram perfect i'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side be mindful that when you do baby hair, it does take a long time sometimes if you're not a pro. So I do it and then I go ahead and put that melt belt on and let it set. And then it's going to make the perfect canvas to go back in after I take the um, melt belt off so that it can really, really be perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and just comb the hair out. Before I go in and style hair, I always like to comb it out first. You want to see it in the big state and kind of just pull out anything that may be there. See if it's going to tangle, see if it's going to shed. I had no problems here with this wig at all. I'm going to also repeat that dynamic duo along the parting. You guys already know, I don't like no lumps or bumps along the parting with my lace. I like it to be nice and smooth. And this is the step that ensures that everything is super smooth. So I did it on one side and I'm going to do the opposite side the exact same way. I personally am not afraid of heat but if you are i just claim that you do this step and like do all of your dynamic duo steps on your wig head before you bond the wig down now that we're good to go i'm gonna go ahead and add some h2o to the ends now the hair now i like to get it super wet and saturated but i also like the way the hair did look big so if you want to wear it big i think that is a really cute look and then from there once the hair gets a little wet i'm going to add a little bit of mousse i think this is the maui moisture i'll have it in the description box and i'm just going to go ahead and add a generous amount and i'm going to use a dimming brush to go in and just clump the curls you guys know this is my favorite way to get the best most juicy and lustrous curls i repeated this step on the opposite side and i'm definitely very hand heavy handed and generous with my product be mindful that I did saturate the hair very well so you guys can see how like thin the hair looks but it's just because it's wet. Now you guys can get the full picture of the lace, the hairline, the baby hair. It's very dramatic. It's very much Instagram but it's exactly what I was going for on this particular day and when it comes all together you're going to see how fire it looks. Next I'm going to go in and tint the lace and I am using a cream foundation in I think the color 15. It's like the darkest shade or the second to darkest shade of the palette. And I'm going to use that corresponding powder to go along the hairline. And I'm going to just be generous and buffing that in super, super, super good so that everything kind of looks perfect. And like my skin as well as like kind of like a little bit of an airbrushed effect when you really pack that color in. It is absolutely perfect. And then we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Again, I am very generous with the product. I'm not stingy at all. And this is not a permanent product. So it's definitely going to, um, you know, wear off over time. From here, we can go ahead and diffuse. I have been obsessed with the diffuser with my curly hair. This is my favorite way because there's one thing to allow your hair to air dry, especially when you do water and but it's a whole different thing when you diffuse it's a whole different look it definitely gives more volume and body and i love that for me so much here is a before and after and it's not even diffused all the way yet i did the opposite side off camera and can you see that va va voom now because we use the mousse it is a little bit more on the crunchy side but you can definitely see the bossy beautiful effect i love it here so so much tell me what you guys think down below Okay, ladies, we are done with the look. This one does come from Jita. I like the fact that this one has a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a light layer to it. Now you can layer it or add more layer to it if you like. I think I might trim the ends just a little bit to make it a little bit more full. Sometimes even when you have length, if you go up and trim it, it'll make it even or look even fuller. Like if I take up about this much, I think it'll look super good. Let me see. Don't try this at home, ladies and gentlemen. I took off this much okay and that looks perfect don't ever be 